we are running out of time. Scientists are saying that if we don't drastically change the way in which we uh, produce energy, we will make the planet uninhabitable. For most humans, in particular us in the global south and in Africa, we have to act now. We're running out of time. The SABC reports almost on daily basis that people are losing their cows, their animals. There's no water. There is a massive drought that has been running for years. At every level, climate change is a crisis first and foremost for the working class and for the poor. What this crisis presents is an opportunity to transform every home in this country into a power station. The country has been under almost a permanent drought for the past three to four years. Now that coming. With the resources that ESCOM has, it will be possible for us to present a very concrete plan on how we'll save the jobs in ESCOM but also how we can be able to save the jobs on those mines. What we need is an integrated, well-planned uh, renewable energy system that takes into account the needs of communities. Unlike the current situation, we can make sure that the new energy resources are placed in the hands of the working class. And if we move to renewable energy, we could create so many jobs millions of jobs that can be created. ESCOM is well positioned to immediately set up manufacturing plants to ensure that their workers are reskilled to produce, you know, solar panels, for instance, and other equipment for renewable energies. We build massive public transport facilities and hire tens of thousands. When we go to Free State, Eastern Cape, in Limpopo, all of those farms are now abandoned because of the permanent state of drought in those areas and so on. You know, all of them are brought back into production. And on the basis of a plan like that, we can be able to build and mobilize many millions of young people. Our economy is not organized in a way that is sustainable. The very same elite who are on cooperations that are destroying the only planet where we can live, the only planet which we have, and the only planet that must provide for all of us. <laughs> When we're talking about climate justice, we're talking about what's fair and what's right for the majority of people. And what's fair and what's right for the majority of people is that we take care of the planet that we all share. What would it really take for us as a working class to be able to take ESCOM under our own control and management? It will take massive struggle. It will take a massive movement.